All right, we are working on the gauge cluster. So we got the dash gauge cluster and then the instrument cluster. We're gonna try to get the lights working on them and replace them with LEDs while we're here. So let's disassemble this just to make it real easy to see and make sure the lights are in fact working. Let's pulling this off. As you see, this is crack damage. Uh, might, might get a new one, but probably gonna stay a little budget and just repair this. All right, so now, taking these off, we take our Allen. Just be real careful, don't scratch up this, because we don't wanna have to paint this if we don't have to. And with all the screws out, these come right out. Same with this one. I'll get my both fingers back there and just pop it out. We can see the bulbs back here. This is exactly what we want to get to. The dash gauge cluster is all apart, ready to go. Now we're paying attention to the instrument cluster. So I think these quarter inch screws on the back are what does the trick for me. So I'm just going to remove them and try to take them off. On the, the front side that you actually see, there's Allen heads and these, if you can tell, these are fake Allen heads. They're just for looks. They don't actually do anything. With the really tiny flathead screwdriver, I took off the knob for the clock. There's a bolt or a little screw in there. Now we should be able to pull this out. A few things happen. Uh, my battery is dead. I've had it disconnected, but it died. So it was probably, I probably took too long to disconnect it and it killed itself. Um, now I have everything rigged up here. We have a new headlight switch. I'll show you later what happened to the old one but it, it just fell apart when I took the dash part, if you saw that video. Now I have the gauge instrument cluster here line, mocked up and then the gauge one, just like that. I got the lights to the on position, turn the brightness up a little bit. When I switch this to on, you're gonna hear a buzzing noise. I think that's the seatbelt alarm, like the seatbelt buzzer. It's kind of annoying, so I'm just gonna be real quick with it. But, turn it on. We have light, we have one light, no light there. So in the instrument cluster, we have one light bulb down here. Uh, that means the other ones aren't working. We have no lights here, which is kind of concerning. Either they're all burnt out or we have something else going on. Let's address this since this is easier. Let's replace some light bulbs. I picked up this kit of LED bulbs recommended by 76 vet so using these just gonna go ahead and swap it out rather than try to see if I have some burnt out bulbs since we want to do this LED upgrade anyways so all these blue ones are the 194 bulbs these are the ones we're replacing all right LEDs have been swapped in and it works they're all lit up great this ground over here is the ground for your dash gauges right here. Now, because I did pour 15 on the bird cage area, my ground doesn't exist anymore. I'm going to need to sand off a spot and then place it back on. But that's what I was doing temporarily, just jumping from there to the seat bolt down here to give me the ground. So the gauges would work. I have the gauge cluster all rigged up, turned it on. And they're all working, even this one in the top left. But that top left one is not nearly as bright. And sometimes it flickers and I just know it's going to go out. It's not going to last. And this is the back side and this is why we have our issue. This whole thing is all sorts of messed up. It's ripped there. I used these tweezers to get contact again because this was not working. And now that we have contact, it's just not good. It's not pulling enough current to draw enough brightness out of the light. So when I remove it, you can see how bad this strip really is. This one's totally unglued. Um, this is the ground, this is the positive. And I think it's the positive that's giving us the not enough volt voltage. I think because the strip here, all here is good, but then we just, we're, we're making contact right about here where it's all sorts of messed up and it's just not good. So we're gonna need to come up with a solution. You can buy new boards, these PCBs, 
Um, they're like 30, 35 bucks. We're gonna stay on a budget here because I think I can repair this for a lot cheaper than that. If your copper lines here are bad, or if they're shorted, you can just solder in some wire, because all this is is just wire. It's an electrical connection from one spot to another. But since this is on the tip, we have to get a little more creative, see what we can do. So I did some research. You can buy coil foil tape, which is essentially what these strips are, and just re-stick a new piece on, glue the plastic down, and you're, call it a day, you're good. Now, they're, they're not expensive, they're really cheap, but I don't have any in stock near me. And I wanted to see what else I could use. Well, aluminum foil is conductive. This is very low voltage, low current, especially because it's LEDs. If I just shove some aluminum foil in there, well, there's my conductivity. And I tested it out, and it actually does work. Kind of wild, kind of crazy, a little little bubba here, but I think this is going to work. So what I'm going to do is clean up, get a better foil patch, glue them down, and then we'll be good. No one will ever have to know I have aluminum foil on my PCB. All right, bear with the quality here, but this is what it looks like at night right now. Put back together somewhat. So this has kind of a green tint because the green plastic back there. So white LEDs tinted it green. We have the PCB board off. Now let's give this a wipe. Let's spray the backside even though this really does not matter. Let's just rinse it off. Well, we have the gauge all cleaned up, ready to be painted. Now I'm gonna hit it with a white first to neutralize the color. Then we're going to hit it with this blue that we picked up. This is the inside of the instrument cluster side. As you can see, this one is a light, lighter blue, little green in it. This is a darker blue. Combined, they make roughly this. This is our closest match. My idea here is I want both gauges to light up the same shade of blue. Or at least very close where you won't notice. Before, with white LEDs, they were showing as green on the inside, which is not what I was going for. So we'll hit it with white to neutralize it as a base color, and we'll go over with this blue color, and it should be a close enough match. The gloss white is on there. We're about to hit it with this blue. Here's a little test spray of it. Not quite the same blue, but I think it's close enough that it's going to do the job. So. We'll hit this, we've got a nice flat neutral white, put this right over it. And here are the results. So as you see, this is the instrument cluster gauge. And this blue is a pretty close match. It's not perfect, but it is pretty darn close. And I think it's gonna do exactly what we need it to do. Got the lights all working, even the one I repaired. We're good to go. Let's put the cover on. Let's see if the colors match. All right, we got the lights in. Now, sorry about the bad quality, but my GoPro does not pick it up. Only my phone will. And this is a perfect, perfect match. Or at least as close as I possibly could get it. That looks pretty good. And they match the same sort of blue color. That is great. Well, I say that went pretty well. I am really happy I went with the blue. They match, which was most important to me, and they look good. I was really concerned about what an all-white would look like. Um, and then when I originally did it without painting it, it was green, and this was blue, and that just didn't look right to me. So, matching them as blue, I think works perfectly. It looks really good, in my opinion. Now, I still have to bolt everything together. I haven't t bolted anything. It's just kind of laying there. So I will be replacing the needles. As you see, this one is chipped. That one is not. They are on the way, so they won't be here in time to f finish this video out. But we're going to stop here. You know, obviously, I still need to ch swap the needles, clean everything up, I'm gonna polish this up. But we'll get to that. So thank you for watching. Let me know if you think the blue works.
Let me know if it was a good idea or not. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.